Oh, hi there. I was just trying to fill in some of the crow's feet with my uh, surface wax. How are you guys? Today we are doing the second video, which I didn't know if I was going to do or save it for tomorrow, but I'm too excited about it, so we're going to do it now. If I know how to sign in. So I painted this surface, my little circle round that I found, I believe it was Tedder Tulip, um, is the place that I got these. And um, I lo absolutely love them. So, trying to pull you up here, but doesn't want to load. There we go. So I'm gonna show you the color and what paint I use to color it. All right. So we're pulled up. So I used home decor chalk paint and this one, it's oh, chalk paint is usually always matte finish that I've seen so far. So I don't see color. Oh, it's called vintage mustard. So let's see if we can hold it up there. So that's what I painted the surface with. And now what we're going to do is I'm going to wax it because we're going to put the honey cone in there and I'm going to use, I was debating, we're going to use, I think, the bumblebee paste um, for the honey cone itself and then I'm going to do the writing in black and I may do the bumblebee. We'll have to see how much room's on there for that and we're going to do it on the surface. So first we're going to now, I did lightly sand this um, to make sure I didn't have any like bumps from painting it or anything so it has this nice smooth um, surface on it now. So I'm just gonna put some of our surface wax on here. Sorry if I'm shaking you all up. Um, just so that I'm not pulling off um, any of the paint that I just put on there because the adhesive part of it is very um, sticky. I have no idea what that was, but it banged. <laughs> all right. So, I'm going to, just to make sure that I didn't get too much sand on, or um, wax on it, I'm just going to do a light brushing. Because I do not want too much sand. Alright, let's get the towel, new duster. We do want new dusting. Alright, so, we got our... Our cloth here to lint the back to help with the stickiness. I may not use the cloth for the honeycomb because it does not have a lot of um, adhesive for it. See, this is bigger than my circle round, so we're going to just do the middle. And where the greenish teal color is where the adhesive is. So there's not going to be a lot of it, so I'm just going to, I'm not going to chalk that, or um, lint that one too much. So. Okay. So, we're going to do the bumblebee. And I will do the words and probably the bumblebee. Um, I'll probably lint that because as you can see there's a lot of teal. So that is going to be sticky. So, we're still going to need that. We're going to do Bumblebee is our color that we're going to do the honeycomb up. Now the surface, I painted it because anywhere where the teal is, is going to be whatever your surface color is. So I wanted it some form of yellow. Um, so that's, I hope it's going to contrast really nicely with everything. So. Trying to make sure there's no bubbles. Okay. And now the way the surface is, and I don't have one near me, um, this edging, it has like an edging that goes down. So I'm going to try to be careful so I don't go down over past it. 
but if I do, that's all right too, because we can go ahead and use um, a little bit of the sanding and um, sand it out. So. so I'm trying to get to the edge of it, but not enough to go down past um, the circle itself. And this is one of our new surfaces that came out. Um, I believe it was the 14th. Looks like I'm gonna have to order me some more Bumblebee. Guess I have my favorite colors, that's for sure. I used this um, surface, um, we hit the store, Tattered Tulip, um, they opened a new store location. So we went down there and they had these. And these were so nice, guys. Um, they were only $4.95 for each round. So bought quite a few of them. Um, I just love them. You can't really find it. And it's thick. So... I think we are good. Clean off my little squeegee. Close this up. Let's see how it came out. Alright, let's stick that in here and we're gonna spray this one. <laughs> Just so it stays moist for cleaning. Alright, and we're gonna go ahead and um dry this one. Because I'll probably have to put more wax down on top of the honeycomb so it doesn't pull that up when we go and put the oh, oh honey, oh honey. I think I might even do a shirt with a bumblebee and say oh honey. The Drake singing. And then I'll show you what it looks like. If you haven't, I have a YouTube channel now, Instagram, and a TikTok. So, if you're interested in any of those, let me know. But if you go and Google, um, it's usually one word, um, Boat Dean Collectibles, it should pop up. But I use the same um, picture as this one. And I just started those, so there's not too many videos on it. I figure get out there more. All right. So this is the way it came out. I have to check over there to see how. There you go. So pretty cool. I love it. So what I'm going to do is take some more surface wax, and I think I'm going to do the Oh Honey first. Alright, let's not dip my applicator in the black paste. I'm just going to lightly go over it. And then I'm going to use the other side to hopefully buff some of it out, because I do not want to sand it again. So we're going to set that aside, and oh honey, alright, and because we're putting it on top of everything else, we're going to go ahead and lint the back so it's not so sticky. And I don't remember from my other video, if I said I was going to do a sunflower or not. I do have, there's a new sunflower that came out with our line. And um, I'm going to do that. I do have it.
But I want to find the right surface for it. And I might have said we were going to do that today, and I just don't remember. So hopefully you like this instead. <laughs> Oh, in the jar that we did, um, with the, oh, I can't remember, the sass, um, transfer, ended up being my squeegee holder. I have all different size squeegees in there, and, um, that's what it ended up being. It was perfect. And if you see anything up here that you have any questions on, let me know. Let me know. All right. I think I'm going to do the Oh Honey and a slant. Just, I don't know why. I just, I think, you know what? I mean, bow might be really cute on this too. We might do a bow today. I haven't done a bow in a while. Okay. I'm going to get the little squeegee. And here we go. Oh Honey. Today is so gorgeous out, I can't believe this weather, finally. Felt like I've been waiting forever for it. Alright. Just taking off any excess. Put back in here. Drop that in there. Put that to the side and we're going to reveal. Put that in there and sprayer. Okay. So this is how this one came out. Oh, honey. Now that I see it, I really didn't put it that sideways, so... And I think I'm going to put the B right down here. And we're going to dry it really fast. I'm going to show you on this transfer. Hopefully it comes in clear. There's a honey cone that has lines in it, um, which is um, of the surface itself. But if you see where the N is there, there's some bleeds that right in that line. So maybe if I did sand it a little bit, it wouldn't have done that little bit of bleeding. But you really can't notice it unless you're looking right up close to it. So it looks good. Otherwise... Um, than that. But I didn't even think about the little lines um, that might be covering. But other than that, it was fine on everything else. And because it's paste, I do have a detail tool. I could go back up and clean it up too, so. Alright. And we're going to put the little honeybee right here, I think. And just pushing down where the silk screen where I'm going. I don't know why I threw that uh squeegee away. Hey Amber honey, how are ya? Gotta use that one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and dirty another squeegee and do this bumble. That'll be the last time I need the black. Go ahead and pull it off. Put that in there and I'll spray her down. I kind of like the bumblebee. Alright. That's how it came out with that. 
and I think I'm going to do a bow with it. So, and I'm going to let the, um, actually I might dry the bumblebee just in case I touch it. How are you, Amber? I'm going to go ahead and grab my scissors. Actually, I'm going to grab the good ones. <coughs> and I have some bumblebee. Um, do, 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 ribbon. So. I bet. I don't know how you do that job. So that's our bumblebee ribbon. And, you know, I'm thinking of it. Let's do we'll do it on the magic little ribbon maker here. So I'm gonna do it small. Oh thanks, babe. That was sweet. I like doing them. I'm getting more comfortable with them anyway. And uh I don't know, I find them fun, so. We still have to get together at Tina's um, and do maybe like a craft night. And then something simple, you know, like t-shirts or something. So, hopefully I did that right. I haven't used this thing in so long. Doesn't feel right though. It might be a thick, too thick of a ribbon. My phone is either ringing, beeping, or doing something, man. There's no getting away from it. And I'll be quiet all day, but until I go to do a video. Okay. Why can't I remember how to do this? Isn't that awful? Is it over? And... No. It's gotta be under. My window is blocking out all your comments. Oh, so you always have Sundays off? That would be perfect. That's what I just brought. I'm like, what am I doing wrong with this bow? Okay, now we got it. Yeah, I'm going to have to talk to Tina because she wants to do t-shirts. And, um... For the next craft day so i think that'd be fun turn on my glue gun so i don't now look how cute this little bow is <laughs> so we'll go ahead and put some little i think they call them dovetails i don't know not that fancy Wouldn't that be cute? That would be. <laughs> I actually, that could work. I could do that. The Deans. Alright. That to the side. And throw the bow down on the ground. But yeah, I think that'd be fun. I can, um, I have a Cricut and I can make up a cute design too. Or we can make it up at Tina's. Um, each one of us could have a little different, you know. That could be fun. Okay. So, I'm going to put this up there. 
We're just going to go ahead and put the little bumblebee here. I'm telling you, if you have things that are plugged in, it works 10 times faster. You get one that's um, cordless, you have to wait forever for it. But. Man, my phone's going crazy. Just the... Uh, gives me time to put a thing. Did you get today off, honey? How are the kids? What's that, darling? How am I doing? I'm doing. Place the bow. I just got a little bit of glue on it. And boom. There it is. It's cute. And then if I get bored of it, I pop the bow off. I can sand it down and do something else. It's that simple. Alright, and that's all we have for today. Now I did two videos. Um, Amber, so you make sure you watch the other one. <laughs> and if you have any ideas, go ahead and send them my way. All right? You have a good one. You have my message, or my uh, phone number, so text me. All right? I love you. Talk to you guys later. <laughs> All right.